rotating. The base of the cloud is rotating. This again captured by a First Union Tower cam in uh, Miami just before the storm uh, moved over downtown. All right, let's take a look now at the, what's going on in the... Keep your eye down here on the ground because you'll, you'll see this tornado start to develop not only up in this area, but also down on the ground. Now there, you see that little ghost right there? That's the bottom of the tornado. As we continue to show you the frames, you'll be able to see some of the damage there. That right there looks like it possibly could be a transformer of some type blowing as the bottom of the base of this tornado continues to make its move across Little Havana. Now, just because you don't see a full funnel cloud, in other words, the condensation is already here, and you can see that wisp down there, just because you don't see anything in between doesn't mean it's not a tornado. Uh, it, it's just not a fully formed tornado. Now you're starting to see the real telltale signs there of the top of the funnel cloud, but it's already damage is occurring down here on the ground. I'll take you back to the very beginning and we'll run it a little faster and you'll be able to see. Now watch again down on the ground as that makes its way across Little Havana. Boom, there's, a, the, the dam, there's that transformer blowing and you can see as it makes its way towards the east, towards Biscayne Bay, uh, the damage as it occurs. Back to you guys at the studio. Elliot? it uh, developed. You can see here is this broad area of cloud cover and the tornado is beginning right in here. You can almost see another little vortex starting right in here, but the actual vortex is now is beginning to come down right there. This is the very beginning part of it. You can see these two little ones that are actually rotating and beginning to go around the main funnel. This entire cloud, the entire base cloud is rotating. A lot of people wonder, well, what does a tornado look like? The first thing you see is this entire cloud beginning to rotate and go around. Now you can see the funnel forming and developing right there as the condensation develops along the funnel. And then it touches ground right about there, and you can see it beginning to lift up. Actually, the rotation exists before you can see the funnel cloud. And to the southwest of this, if we're looking to the north now, from downtown Miami south is clear. And this is very typical for a tornado to form on the southwestern part of the cloud. And the, the uh, heavy rains are over here. So this is the rain-free area that we're looking at. And a tornado usually forms right at the tail end, right on the southern end, the southwestern end of a cluster of thunderstorms. And here is the video again from about now an hour and 10 minutes ago as it moved across the Venetian Causeway. So a very typical uh, tornado, but uh, very untypical as far as South Florida is concerned to actually catch one like this and see one as vividly displayed as we do right here. Understand, uh, is uh, John Gerard? John Gerard is ready. He has uh, some more characteristics of South Florida tornadoes. John? Yeah. Tornado. We're looking from downtown Miami to the north. You have two small funnel clouds that developed at first, one here and one here, both of these rotating around the base. Now, this happened at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Now, as we continue the motion, this one goes away and gives up its energy to this one, which becomes stronger. So that's the developing funnel right there. And now what's happening in the next few seconds after this is already you're getting some rotation on the ground and you're getting some damage on the ground, even though you can't see it. So this is the point where you have to get close to your screen. I want you to watch right down in here. There's a line of trees that it'll be going through. I think we zoom in in just a second. You can see the funnel beginning to take shape here. The rotation already is going on. You can see a little bit of rotation right down near the water. And also notice right here, see how the water is starting to come in right in through there. You can see it's starting to rotate around. And you can see those trees wavering right through there as it goes offshore and over the water right now. So right now we've got a tornado from top to bottom, full condensation on the funnel as the whole system here is fully illuminated. So it is moving east to northeast at this point, and it's about to move over the causeway uh, pretty soon. And as it does so, it picks up this huge volume of water, and that acts to eventually disperse the system as it uh, reduces the frictional forces in the storm. But you can see that's a huge area of water that is now being sprayed up from the water and up into the funnel itself. Behind it, there's a little trail in the water that sort of marks where it has been right there. As it continues to move to the northeast, it's almost ready to go over the Venetian Causeway and eventually to Biscayne Isle where it did some damage over there. So this is quite spectacular. Usually we see tornadoes from the ground looking up. This is a view that we may not have ever seen before. It's possible to see it from such a high altitude to look down at it like this. So it's quite an incredible sight that we had this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Let's check our radar right now. We'll see what's going on. It makes its way moving east, northeast. It actually crosses the Venetian Causeway as it makes its way towards the east. Do you see it start to form? 
Now you can see the tornado as it uh, ruffles the trees along that bayside part, picking up the water off of Biscayne Bay, rolling it on top of uh, the Venetian Causeway, and now it's starting to cross the causeway and make its way across Biscayne Island and uh, the other islands right along Venetian Causeway. Some amazing video, and uh, we're going to learn a lot from this video because of the vantage point that we're sitting on top of the first Union Tower Camp, actually looking down on the tornado, so you see the top and the bottom of the tornado. Some amazing video. Now, let's talk about what's going on uh, right now because we have some severe weather occurring up in Causeway. And you can see the sparks of what seem to be lightning. Those are actually transformers and power lines being hit by the force of this storm. And as we've seen from video taken in just the few half an hour, hour or so after the storm, there are all across the Venetian Causeway power lines down, trees down, damage caused to homes. Again, you can see those, those power lines and transformers sparking up there. This was recorded earlier at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. What we're going to do here in about 10 to 15 minutes is have an opportunity to dissect this tornado. I'm going to show you various aspects of this and various stages of development as it moves along. And it really is quite interesting to see this and to have one captured on video like this. So in about 10 minutes, we're going to show you various parts of this tornado. And then at 5.30, Todd Tongan is going to be along. We'll show you the tornado from a different view as it just began to get going and probably caused some of that damage we saw in Little Havana. So that It came up slowly about a quarter of two. First signs, blowing branches and debris from the street. Then suddenly, a funnel cloud appeared over the NBC6 parking lot. It moved quickly across the street. NBC6's Ari Azra was there. We are in the NBC6 parking lot. It is now five minutes to two in the afternoon. You look right over there, you can see the tornado's effect as it goes by the federal prison. You can see lots of debris flying in the air. We have felt pieces fall down on top of us, landing on cars around here. You can see up in the air, there's all sorts of construction debris from a project that's taking place one block over here downtown. Within seconds, it moved toward Biscayne Boulevard. A spectator caught up in the site, perhaps never seen in downtown Miami before. Then our tower cam network picked up the twister as it hovered over the MacArthur Causeway. Flashes, apparently from electrical wires going down, again and again. Then, as fast as it arrived, the funnel disappeared leaving a frightening dark cloud hanging over downtown. The and with no warning. The sight of it, awesome, surreal. When I see the birds and debris and everything going around and around and around, you know, and I get up, and when I get up, this building is shaking. The sound of it stopped people in their tracks. Mom, Daddy, let's go! With freight train force winds, the tornado dropped from the sky, targeting downtown Miami for touchdown at 2 p.m. Well, I was busy. From the 15th floor of a Miami Beach Venetian Causeway condo, the scene was awesome. A tornado makes its touchdown in downtown, and it's caught on videotape. I was rooted to the ground in fear, thinking if this thing really does come towards us in the, the path that it's following, we're going to be in some serious trouble. The tornado's funnel kept spinning and spinning, getting stronger and stronger, sending debris flying into the air. The sound sent chills through those who heard it firsthand. The noise was terrible. The noise was something like I never, I never had something like that. The scene proved too much for one little girl whose father was videotaping the chaotic traffic scene on the MacArthur Causeway. Come on, Daddy, let's go! Papa! Nico, relax. It's fine. Workers in downtown skyscrapers feared catastrophe as the twister made its way towards their glass buildings. Uh, wondering whether it was going to come straight at us or not, because at that point it was, uh, and we were in an all-glass uh, conference room uh, facing the direction of the oncoming tornado. Beautiful! In Little Havana, weather watchers got caught up in Mother Nature's fury until they realized they could be in danger. I was very uh, concerned. I was thinking about dropping the camera, jumping in my car, <laughs> and take off. But then somebody says, don't go in your car when it's a tornado. Don't try to outrun a tornado. So I figured, let me stay in the building. And I'm sure from a camera right in the path of the storm before it actually turned oh. into a tornado. A 
closer look as it passes over the area as a funnel cloud. From this angle, you can really see the strength of the winds, even though it isn't touching down over the road. The gusts along the ground are still extremely strong, though. Now, imagine being in your office building and seeing this working its way across town. Look at the column of air next to the actual building. The downtown Miami office worker shot this home video of the Twister right before it dipped into Biscayne Bay. And you could see how the Twister towered over even the tallest of the buildings in downtown Miami.